Morris was very relieved. But just then, Diesel oiled round the bend. Diesel was surprised to see all the engines. He screeched to a halt. Rolls of bunting went everywhere. No one told me there was another photograph. But I asked Thomas to tell everyone. I was frozen today! Can you whistle? Sure, I can. Yes, that's close. But it's not like in my dream. I'm sorry, Thomas. No. You will go! We need to do something muscular, like Biggie versus Tupac. And we know how that ended. Look, we don't need to do this stupid assignment, Mr. Shu. Don't act like you're above these kids. Thomas? Not that long ago, you were one of them. We can just talk. <laughs> Unless you have some stunning new revelation about why you kissed my bride-to-be. I've already heard everything you have to say. Besides, I don't think you could take it. I can take it. Okay. I put you in charge of the Glee Club. Thomas? Not because you were a national champion, and not because you were qualified with something like a teaching degree, or even a single college credit for that matter. I gave you the Glee Club because you were lost. You just got dumped by your girlfriend. You haven't helped anyone. And the real truth is, I just took pity on you. Wow. You wanted to talk. Yeah, I did, but I didn't. So I put all this trust in you so that you can get back on your feet. And what do you do? You betray me in the worst way possible. You broke the code of a brother. Thomas? I know that. Okay, and I'm so sorry. Sorry's not gonna cut it. So start thinking of some of the nastiest music feuds you can come up with because we are doing this assignment and I'm gonna kick your